Portrait Faith button is now active. You've done it. Let's click the button. Boom. Did I you acquire Uh Yeah, we'll take the, the upgrade. Upgrades my armor to blue. Now gives plus 15% campaign movement range, which is loads. Uh, pretty tempting is that an addition down. to the plus 10? No, that's instead of the plus 10, they now get plus 15. Okay. Uh, plus 10 growth and plus 4% speed rather than plus 2% speed. Not the biggest upgrades ever, but happy to have it. Uh, we do have to manual this. Uh, Ugh, honestly. Obviously, <laughs> but it shouldn't be like it shouldn't be too difficult. Yay, yeah, sieges. They're my favorite. It's this stupid siege map that's super abusable. Okay. Where there just aren't towers on the left side of the map. Just genius. Just how I build a castle. Man, I can't wait for them like to work out how sieges work. <laughs> it's quite the puzzle, though. It is. It is because like you do want meaningful damage output from defensive structures, mm. but how to make them not feel like this is dumb. artillery guns <laughs> that are like, wow, what the hell is this? Maybe the it's... answer is no. They just don't have... oh, I guess they only have towers on the main settlements, right? Because the small yeah, I was... ones don't have walls. Yeah, I was relatively happy with what they did in Three Kingdoms. I wouldn't mind, like, just, mul like, big ta cities are very large. You can attack them from all sides, and there's more fight, like, they're spread out, so there's more fighting in the streets rather than just... The street uh, fighting is the coolest bit, I think. Yeah. I'm going to give, this time I'm going to give you all the archery oh, boys. Okay. Um, basically, everyone's just going to chill over here, but... Um, oh, we're going to walk up and show this wall. Yeah, we're just going to shoot them. From the side, like, yeah, just stand here, shoot them till they're dead. All right. Game plan's not very complicated. Tad does get to shoot us though, which is rude. I'm just going to move so I'm not in range of it. Well, I would if this responded properly. There you go. Yep. Arrow of Kronos, you're so dumb! Go. So Arrow of Kronos is different to the whole um, character snipe arrow, or is it the same thing? No, it's the same thing. Okay. Oh, well, depends on which lords. Some lords have a different one as well. But Cool. Well, I'm in the Warhawk one. Yeah, no, it's the same as that. No, as in, so yeah, the, the, the Hawk Riders have some... There's two. There's Prey of Anathema... Um, and there's Arrow of Kurnos. Those are both the abilities that lords get that kind of do the same thing, I think. Well, Prey of Anathema might be the root, but the unit can't move. Been... Why would I remember the names of these things? <laughs> Good point. Yeah, so everyone's out of the range of the tower. It's not like the Wood Elves are a faction you care about. Uh, yeah. I, there were, like, I do really enjoy... What else? Like, so, you know, I like archer heavy factions. Yeah, I'm, me too. Like Tomb Kings. Uh, with the best archers yep. in the game. <laughs> uh, yeah, I like archer heavy factions. I really enjoy Hawk Riders uh, as a unit. Because um, they've on Pissing Melee. Yeah. They still have that. Uh, they didn't take that out. They did not take that oh, that's out. That's good. Uh, still on Pissing very melee. important. This <laughs> is the most powerful ability. <laughs> um, it's pretty good. Yeah. Um, certainly once we're at Doomstack, we'll, we'll get to make some good use of that. Um, good. Uh, yeah, I, I like I like what they've got going on. I like that the um, like I like their skirmishy style of gameplay. Like it is really nice to have just very poor front line. Um, it's one of the Prob kind of why high elves are so problematic is that their front line is not shit. It's also insane, you know, Phoenix they're... Garden Swordmasters. Oh, and also, also just seventy defense sisters. Um, also, their archers are front line simultaneously. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like seventy melee defense sisters, just completely unreasonable. But, uh, uh, well, and also like Sea Guard. Yeah, that's true. They can hold the line uh, in the in the mid game. Um, but yes, certainly uh, here you don't have that like. 
tree men and stuff are good for sure. Every army is going to have some tree men because you do need a siege attacker, and either they're very good lords. Um, they're like ten out of ten lords. Um, but yeah, I've never actually like used one because I've not played all of campaign, even though I have the DLC. Yeah, no. but they get their their full spellcasters while also being uh. Like, they're good spellcasters also, while also being a monstrous being a infantry unit that's extremely strong. Um, they're very slow, but that rarely matters. Like, because uh, you can just, you know, get to the infantry blob eventually. Um, There's no way you could take this tower, is I... there? That madness? With what? <laughs> and they can walk, land, capture it if they land on it? Mm, no. Okay, well, I'm just going to run across yeah, this tower's last fire we're, then. We're, we're winning, it's... No, just stay. Just don't don't okay. move. Why? Why move? I, got, I can't. I've got, I haven't got any shots. Yeah, but we do. Sure. I, mean, I wanted to contribute. Okay. No, contributing at the cost of casualties is not contributing. No. Oh. Go, armor piercing melee. Go. No, don't just fly in front of the tower, you idiots. Hooray, the tower. It's gone. Yep. Can I climb the walls? Yeah, go on. Again, I don't think you know what? I'm just going to climb them with one small unit and capture the gatehouse. Sure. That will save time. Uh, I think we've won. Okay, cool. Sure, I wasn't... I didn't know if we might have to walk in and just start shooting them on the point. I shot them once on the point. And okay. They gave up. No, no, I'm out. <laughs> Peace. Yeah. A good fight. We lost 11 men. <laughs> Elves? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it was just a few people getting shot at the start by the tower. Classic. Uh, might I, have been a halt. I like how our Eternal Guard contributed. Pardon? I like how our Eternal Guard contributed. Yes, they definitely contributed. Mm -hmm. uh, they... They stood there. Strong, independent units who definitely deserve... Are they tier units. one? Yeah. Okay. It's just that I have this... SFO it, made them tier 3. I have this, like, impression of them in my head that's like, they're like an elite unit, because... Eternal Guards sound like an elite unit. Well, also, uh, like, they used to be, like, in the book, they were like, you're good in... Well, this is probably a while back. And they were like a metal model unit, so you, they were really expensive sure. to, like, m have a unit of. So you're like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. normally elite troops, they're... They're metal, that's normally the rule. Yeah, still um, metal. But no, Very elite. tier 1. Um, yeah, no, it's... Uh, I think it's just that they wanted to fill out the the roster. I, I like. I genuinely think it's that part of like this is back in game one. They wanted them to have some tier one infantry, and apparently dryads spearmen, weren't right? good enough, which is weird. Um, they're basically yeah, just they're... five spearmen or dark yeah. spears. Yeah, I guess it's fine. Yes, you are throttled and clean. Well done. <laughs> So, yeah, I definitely want to go into this tree because Prey of Anathema is really good. I would not mind which of these abilities buffs. Fuck's sake! Oh, 10% reload time, okay. So the, the, her in the red tree, the skill that buffs uh, Hawk Riders uh, is, uh, gives them increased weapon strength and charge bonus. Yes! <laughs> That's... Um, That'll be armor piercing melee. Oh so, yeah, we're not we're not going red tree with her anytime soon. Um, but I think we're okay going yellow tree rather than blue tree. I would like like this is really good, and we really need quartermaster and home among bows bows. Yeah, uh, but I think we'll prep on the theme of first. Um, I think we'll just take the good at shooting ability rather than any of the tank abilities. Damage output way more important right now than tankiness. Uh, okay, we'll take the cavalry recruit rank and the money. Could could instead build a recruitment building here for glade guard. What else does it give? Minus fifty percent recruitment is kind of obscene and growth. Yeah, we'll, we'll grab that. I think that's fine. I'm gonna grab Ball's Anvil. Send the wizard to go check out Ice Rock Gorge. Got a hell of a lot of caps. That is enough to upgrade the world tree, which we will do. The Oak of Ages. 
This gives us plus two popcorn faction wide. Sounds great. Are Skaven normally rolling in cash? Because I have like so much, <laughs> so little to well, spend. I'm, on. I'm spent. I'm spending ten k this turn. Oh, okay. Like, uh, I have also yeah. For once, we haven't recruited second lords early. So, <laughs> uh, and help it definitely like six hundred gold from your main city is very strong. Uh, yeah. Like this early. Um, cool. Damage building's fine. Imminent rebellion might be a little annoying. Hopefully that that should ha happen at Hackle though, which we can deal with. We're gonna have rebellions because we have an early confederation. Uh, did, cool. I'm gonna incredible. grab more coffee because as you can tell, I'm not speaking quickly enough. Okay. Uh, so be right back. One All right. sec. All right. Well, just me and you now, audience. Guess we upgrade this and have a wonder. Yeah. All right, throw it. <laughs> it's got, chill out. It's okay. Uh, let's go. We can encamp, right? Yeah. God, this is going to be painful. Um. <laughs> Yeah, that's my whole turn. All seven. Hmm. Oh, back to my turn. I uh. love my turn. Oh, now I get to solve a Sudoku on camera. Great. <laughs> <laughs> so in each row and each column, we need one of each color, one of each number. It has to be a two or a four. That's easy. It has to be yellow or purple. Well, those are our options. Well... It has to be purple. If the purple in this row is gone, we need a purple ant. So the yellow has to be here. So this has to be purple. It doesn't have to be a two or a four. We haven't got any of the two. That's awkward. Ah, but it has to be a four because the four in this row has to be here. So it has to be a two. It has to be a yellow, no, a purple two. Yes. So smart. Uh, Fence Blade's not good on our range lord. It's certainly not going to take off the evil bow, but uh, we'll get some early lords eventually. Stag here. We don't want it on our terrible blade lord who isn't doing anything. Grab her specialist now. She's got Flock of Doom. She's not going to do much. It's not worth investing in her thing. Might as well keep her, but fine. We need to do this fight once we can. Look at all this nice forest. So it's so grassy. Uh, I quite like that. Anything else we could do before we fight? Still can't do anything with this really. Our diplomacy. No one's gonna like us because <laughs> even 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 Stuart doesn't like me. That's uh, that's amusing. Uh, yeah, no, no one. Is even remotely our friends, even the people we've got non aggression packs at this point. Talson's at minus 38 and hate us. Uh, but that's because of Federation mostly giving us this, uh, this minus 40 relations. This all probably gets us there on this. Um, I think I am going to want to fight it manually though to avoid casualties. Matthew, I don't want to alarm you. Okay. But one of your cloaks is your sister of twilight. It's not natural, ma'am. That is <laughs> sort of that... curving upwards with Maybe its own magic. Yeah, yeah. Maybe you should I kill think, them. They might yeah. be demons. 
the, the, there's quite a lot of clipping in this bottle in general. <laughs> Wait, is the other one through the eagle's neck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look. Like, Maybe they were designed for the dragon. Our graphic settings are only on highest. What can you expect? <laughs> you know what? I don't think I ever changed mine. I don't know what mine are on. <laughs> Uh, we do have to fight this, uh, but it shouldn't be very hard. What happened? So that siege that we won, that's that Sally. Was that the turn before this turn? That was two turns ago. That was two turns ago. Okay, so you've already taken nothing that, happened in the inter. You've yeah, taken uh, that city, is, and this is now some rebels. Okay, this is rebels from that city. Yeah, sure. We've not. We've only had one turn to replenish, which is why we're still really quite injured. Oh, uh, we've got uh, bows. We'll be fine. Oh, this terrain's kind of gross. Uh, if we can get up to this ridge in time, we should be able to get up to this ridge. Cool. So, like, you know, use this ridge. Where? The one behind All you. All the way back there. Who's attacking? Uh, we are. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, but they'll come to. We can. We can harass them with the eagles. Uh, that's probably not true. This, let's go this up ridge to the, is also fine, right? Yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's very close. So. Uh, has some fast boys. Yes. Uh, you may never have the bees, they belong to me. Welcome back to the fast team, uh, fast boys. Can I have anger? Uh, so eagles battle against bats. Yes. They're harpies, but yes. Cavalry. Eagles battle against harpies, cool. Harpies, shockingly good against single entity flyers. Yep. Just obscenely good. I do enjoy how much the Dark Shards seems to really enjoy being Dark Shards. <laughs> I always, like, my favourite units are the ones that just shout their name with such conviction. <laughs> Questing Knights! Absolutely, right? <laughs> like, Sorry, it's more Questing Knights! Quickly! Yep, they are now! fucking keen at being a Questing Knight. Oh, I like it when the two can just say banana. That's my favourite bit. Banana! Banana! Dark rise. Too rude. Out of them. Out of them to death. Yeah. Our own kernels. It's super broken. Is it broken? Or is it uh, I think not. I, I, I think it's extremely strong on, on Hawk Riders. Maybe it scales. But, uh, I'm okay. Yeah, mark. that's true. It, it's definitely best against blob, like shitty infantry. It's not going to be good against monsters or whatever, but it's pretty good against lords and stuff. Like, it's. I'm, I'm happy that they found a way to make Hawk Riders viable because they were, although I loved them, they were <laughs> bad. Well, no, they're um, armpits in melee. They were, they were combat units. Yeah. Just no one told you. I mean, they. I. I told me, okay. but I was lying. <laughs> <laughs> um, we, sh we should have run into all this fire with. Yeah, it's uh, a little bit funny. I live on the edge, you know. I'm reckless because they're not my units. That's... You know what they say: <laughs> you're always edging. Yeah, always edging, constantly You're doing it right now. Don't ask questions. Well, this ridge worked very well, didn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just it a did. beautiful ridge. In fact, the best map. Uh, are we killing them all? Uh, no, not the. Okay. Like a second fight would be fine for me. Like I get more. Oh, you get more XP, don't you? Yeah. And more Forge of Death stuff. Cool. I believe. Uh, I'm not entirely certain. I know how Forge of Death works at this point, but it says battles give me rewards. So. Well, it's only turn six, so I would, or seven. I would forgive you for not knowing how everything works. That's true. Uh, plus, they, they. I mean, they. I keep reading about the changes they're going to do to it, so. Are they already planning changes? Yeah, to the Forge of Death. Because, um, well, part of the problem is that once you get items to the max tier, it kept very frequently offering you to temporarily buff them and then have it reset to minimum, which you would never want to do. Um, so it was just like, 
a, a harassment mechanic, and no one wants a mechanic that feels <laughs> like a chore. Yeah, like. Um, so yeah, they they're working on turning that down, um, which is good. And and that, it's that and the unit cards that they're really that they've said are like they will fix in the next patch because the unit cards. I don't know if you've seen them; they are really bad for this. Uh, really, really bad. For what? In fact, uh, for all, all the new units uh, okay. in this DLC, look like shit. Um, Why is that? Like even uh, they've got a new artist, and they're not very good. Oh. No, no, that's not. I shouldn't say that about them. But like, it was true in Grom, uh, Grom the Haunch as well. Like, queen. click my my army here. Mm. Like, compare the really nice looking Eternal Guard and Glade Guard. Yeah. Oh yeah. To the right. Stag Knights, yeah, who are have a like boring grey background, and they're they're a spear unit that are in portrait, so you can't even see their weapon. Mm. Like, and and similarly with your with your Molder units, if you click on uh, these, like. Look how shit wolf rats look. They look so bad. That's true. It's a terrible image. Because I, I, the reason I was so confused is because normally I'm like, oh, the, the art for these cards are normally really good. Mm. Really good art. Agreed. It's just some of them have been given quite generic ones. Um, it probably that, looks okay. Yeah, I think the lords still look good, but like, yeah, these look like placeholder things. Um, That's true. Someone has already made a mod that uh, addresses this, <laughs> uh, which I was going to suggest. Uh, for this campaign, That's but it's fast. like it's day one DLC, so let's not fuck around with mods. Yeah. Oh, we always um, Eagle dies. No, how did it happen? Not Forty kills on that unit, you know, Dark Shard somehow. Uh, Never happened if we ought, if we manual it. It's true. <sighs> Honestly, uh, oh, chain. These doors are gonna wreck me. Accurate. <laughs> Thought I just moaned about that is quite cold. <laughs> and all twenty-five of his finger claws freeze. Oh no! Oh, his finger claws. You've got so many spare, Throck. Come on. God, the growth here is so bad. It's just gonna get worse. So I was um, I was thinking about future DLCs mm. and like content um, earlier because even though we just got a patch, you know, it's never enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, chill out, Rune Lord. I'm not here to insult your Rune Lord stairs. Uh, can I attack a fucking eight garrison, eleven army dwarf stronghold with mainly slaves? Ugh. Yeah, if I can send this on Discord, I can see this is what the mod does. Massive upgrades. Give me a sec. Alright, I'm going to try and ambush this dwarf army. I'm going to pretend that this place is just empty. Because if I can ambush yeah. them in the field... like I don't think my army is good enough. Like, just, dwarves are so much work. They, they, yes, they, agreed. They scare in a me. Siege and our army's mostly slaves. Yeah, and their garrison has four shooter units and there's some rubbish. I don't know what their accurate army has, but... Yeah. Or have, like, I a think... dwarf lord and... Yeah, I definitely think, unless we get the ambush, it's gonna be rough. I mean, like, you can throw a bunch of food at Menace Blows and five extra units does help, but it's probably still not enough. It's just so... clam rats, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't mind taking... Like, I could just leave, but I think leaving the ambush... They might be tempted to come and take. I, I would be a little tempted to ambush in your friendly territory, so you're regenerating. But uh, uh, you might not have movement left. Okay. There'll be no. The problem is, there's no good ambush spots like on the way sure, to the you'd city. Sure, you'd be at like twenty five percent rather than it's forty rather than seventy. Have. Sure. It depends how much you value that replenishment. I mean, I could uh, go and heal for a turn and. Yeah. Then come back. I think I probably have enough movement. Let's check. Yeah, I would. So I can go up, like, close to the mountain and ambush, but they're never going to get there. Just stand in these barrels or these giant causeways, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that replenishment's not huge, but it it means that if we're, especially, certainly if we're spending a few turns doing it, I'd be much happier. Yeah, and you'll have the garrison, 
to help when they walk into the ambush. Which is not nothing. They'll, Pretty close. If nothing. they're gonna walk out, they'll pro they'll probably walk to where are my pens. They'll walk to here first because it's quite a long way. Unless they teleport. Oh, you think? It... I think it'll take sure, two they... turns. Yeah, that's fair. They might underwear. If they if they walk out for a turn, I'll just go fight them. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Because I'm technically invisible. Technically. So yeah, I was looking up DLCs because I was thinking of future content. Um, and obviously, you know, my my one true love is um, Setra the Imperishable. Yes. Yes. We sometimes make out on the weekends. Um, very sensible. Yeah, <laughs> very sensible. You don't want to piss them off, you know. Uh, and... They just recruited a second lord instead. Fucking hell. Lord. <laughs> okay, great. Um... And I was checking what the most popular DLC ever was, because I was like, oh, I wonder if Tomb Kings will ever get extra lord, and it is. The, to the Tomb King DLC is apparently the top one. It's the most popular DLC. Sure. Followed by the pirate one. And then uh, Crone Hellebron. I thought it was kind of okay. cool. It's more unexpected, but yeah. I like Crone. I think Crone was solid. Yeah. I guess it was the Queen and the Crone, yeah, and actually so Queen Alario Half was and... great. Yeah. But you like fighting bells. <laughs> I would like to fight some dwarves, but they don't want to come out of their bloody castles. <laughs> only got three units of shears. Stupid auto resolve, not thinking our injured units are basically worthless. <laughs> well, arrows are people, so. It's not relevant, but I just wanted to bring it up. Yeah, yeah. Um... Is the eagle picture the same eagle picture as the high elf one? Uh, I think. So, <laughs> which is fine. Like they have the same unit. Like I don't, yeah. I don't think that's objectionable necessarily. Um, I was actually relatively happy with the the forest spirit art. Um, like of the unit cards, the forest spirits, like the the, the spiders and the wolves and the stuff you get as Draker, uh, actually have look pretty good. Given that they're like they are just reskins of other units. Like they're spider riders with the spiders taken off, well, with the riders taken off. But that's fine. Um, uh, because that like they're a sub faction, only Draco gets them. I don't think, yeah, yeah. and she's free LC. Like I, I think the fact she even got eight unique units is kind of obscene. Hmm. Uh, I didn't even know I got units. I think yeah, they're fast enough to do whatever. Yeah, that's basically how I felt. Part of the issue with the arrow kernels, by the way, is this range is pretty dumb. Oh, fireball. Oh, fireball. That is a pretty insane range of damage. <laughs> oh, it hit the it hit the hit the rocks. Good fireball. Um, yeah, pretty ridiculous. Give him a speed buff to the eagle. Oh, thank you. You're getting shot over there. I am. It's fine. I'm doing evasive maneuvers. Nine kills from the first volley from the sisters. I'll do a battle roll. That's a good trick. <laughs> Their lord's a sorceress, so your eagle can just, like, kill her. Okay, cool. I didn't know eagles could do that. Go, eagle, go! I don't know that. That's We're gonna find eagle. out! Yeah. Purple eagle, attack! Or lilac? Oh, yeah, no. I wouldn't call it purple. Dryker would be purple. Dryker, that's got true. Real She's very purple. purple. It'll be interesting to, uh... Once I played Raichu, to compare it to Alithanar, who still I think easily holds the title of best free LC. Best free LC, yeah, for sure. Um, like he's great. He's so great that I would like just happily play him most of the time. <laughs> but I was legitimately thinking, oh, should we should we play Wood Elves and Alithanar? But like High Elves are basically easy mode. Yes, that is that is certainly my problem with High Elves these days. I fucking love them, but they are way too easy. Uh, once you, uh, I, f I forgot that the Tomb Kings were next to you. Otherwise, I'd be like Tomb Kings. <laughs> Yeah. We don't play enough campaigns with them. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the lot. Wait, no, it was very, very recently. <laughs> <laughs> was that last campaign Arkan and someone? Uh, that was certainly one of the three. I think we might have. We started some Scape and Scaven. Uh, yeah, we just we were doing some tests when we were on a new PC. Yeah. Get clobber. See, I don't know if the eagle killed this sorceress or if she just got shot by something. I've been... I don't think any of my units are shooting her. Okay. So. She was vaguely involved in a massive brawl. With what? There was like a blob of infantry and there was two arrows. Sure. Possible some stray arrows there, certainly. 
this is a siege. So, victory. Don't get shot by friendly fire. I make no promises. Clean. Uh, yeah, these are this heart is way better. The only complaint I have is these two mutant mats look very similar. They look, as opposed to the default game where they look the same. Uh, they, okay, they're basically the, uh, like they're very similar units. Like it's it's like the difference between dogs and dogs with poison. It's mutant rat ogre or mutant rat ogre with. Sure. I, I don't know the names of the units, but they're they're basically they are the same unit with a slight difference, and you can actually mm. fucking tell them apart here at least. Yeah, but like, they, yes, they look similar, but they do look better. That's true. The actual models look that similar. So, so they got okay. So they've got new artists who need to sort of <laughs> ease themselves into the roles. Yeah. Because uh, also it's hard being an artist when you come and you have to like, oh, these other artists did this work and you have to stay in the same style. Good luck. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Art is hard. Um, yeah. yeah, even like this mod, like the, this upgrade, these all look beautiful, but they did the same thing for the, the Grom and the Paunch, and I think they went too far in the other direction where they made units look like cluttered and cartoonish mm. rather than like here. I think these, these look great. Like, um, I think you can clearly tell the difference between the different units, and it's all like even from like just the pose, all wolf units look Ryan's like the wolf rats here. I yeah, think that's yeah. a really strong, yeah, it's um, important. Yeah, cool. My We're here. Kina. Nah, the game never crashed. It never crashed. Uh, it was fine. Forge of day. Oh, the Something bleak else. holes have been destroyed. Oh no, uh, I didn't know that happened. Uh, yeah. So we Matt, where are you again. going next? I'm taking something So yeah, I think we're gonna go for the Lower Long Forest in the north of the Empire. Uh, partly because weakening the Empire is so the area for the Lower Long Forest is actually like barely any of the Empire. I basically just want the actual province, like you know the province that's like here. Hmm. Yeah, uh, the, I, the I tree. Need, I need that. I need that much. So I need, yeah, I need this much land. Oh, so it's a whole province land. now. No, so Lauren of Forest is its own province, and then there's the, the one that's controlled by the orcs. It's here. Ah, uh, yes, the leaf cutters. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I need that province. Okay. Um, I don't think it's much more than that. I have your like, port as well. In detail. Uh, yeah, a port would be nice. Get, get some trade. Well, you are on the coast over here. Oh, actually, yeah, no. So a port won't help. I need a. I need a port ne connected to my capital. Oh yes, so. of course, because you can't move your capital because that would be insanity. Uh, so I guess you need, like, Twitterglade. I think the Witchwood's my capital. I wonder if it's the Ochre Pages. No, it's got to be the Witchwood, because I've got a trade agreement with uh, Tep. Speaking of which, I should cancel that. Um, if you want to stab him, yes. Is this the same puzzle as last time? I think so. Yeah. Got same rewards. Okay. Nothing Nothing changed. No new RNG. That's okay. good. Um, Crypto units. And yeah, we're going to go over to Laurel Forest. We're not going to zoom out, because last time that broke it. Um, <laughs> let's... Spend our money. Let's upgrade this to tier three. That sounds great. Couldn't do that last time. So this is you, specialist. Yeah. Do you know what I miss? I miss screaming Malekith. <laughs> like I really did enjoy when Malekith would not stop yelling when he was on raid mode. <laughs> uh. Okay, I can recruit some. Wolf rat clusters, yay! Or I can wait and get some rat clusters. That sounds better. All right, Matt, come, come hither. Come to Krakadrak, the best named city in the whole map. Yeah. And so they haven't moved forth. They, they just recruited. They just recruited now another army, and there's, there's even more of them. Yeah. I kind of want to leave. Just like underway back to help it. Yeah. Just ignore them. But, um. Or I could recruit another army. I have. 15k in the bank, basically, and I'm uh, making 1.8 thousand a turn. I don't I think I promise I don't like, want to play a war on Kislev either, because they're massive. Yes, fighting Kislev is inevitable, but. It's inevitable, but they're huge, so let's, you know, yeah. give it a sec. Um, I could go closer and ambush. No, I, th I think, given that it's going to take them multiple turns to get to you anyway, I think moving, like, underwaying to help it, and then. Like, do you really care about slam up here? I don't know. Um, uh, good question. I guess it's your port, lol. Um, Definitely a port. The issue is that you can't recruit anything better, right? It's just no. wolf rats. It's just wolf rats, so. yeah. Cannot eat snow. <laughs> cannot eat snow. <laughs> You're right. Uh, I should build a yeah, growth building. Why is that not a growth building? Am I dumb? Is that a growth building? That is a growth building. I don't know about Skaven. That's what it is. Um... Uh, yeah. yeah, I think, hard, I think 
Because I can't, I can't just assault them. That's... No, that that is suicide. That I is think sitting here in ambush is not the worst idea. We are replenishing, admittedly, not as fast yeah. as if we were in a garrison. But then the, the least thing to replenish are the rat ogres and the storm vermin, so... Yeah, they're important and to the replenish. Clan rat. Um, the clan, yeah, we, yeah, the clan rat's a little bit. Of, yeah, sure. A little bit, like, another turn of sitting here, and if they still don't march out, moving to help. Like, moving to help, it just doesn't achieve anything, unless you're going to declare on... Well, unless you, yeah, you'd, I'd have to switch targets. I wouldn't want to do it otherwise. Yeah, I don't... Raid like, you could take hands. Fort Strike off. Yeah, that's an option. That gets you some replenishment as well. And it encourages them to come out at you. That's not a bad idea at all. Gets a really good food economy as well. And I can still be within range of my city. Yes. Because I can just raid this bit. Sure, and that... So you don't get to replenish this way? Okay. Some some raiding enables Yeah, some raiding does replenishment. Um, Maybe I do want to... Yeah, it's up to... I think replenishing is a little stronger right now. Yeah. You really do want that mutant rat okay. full health. Yeah, he took uh, a... Partly because... took a beating. I could just... Yeah, partly... Might just camp for a turn. Camp. They can't get to Might me. Might as well be garrisoned at well be in the city point. then, yeah. Yeah. Just, I'll just heal properly for a turn and... Yeah, yeah. About it. As I didn't yeah, come out, so... Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I guess that's my turn. You don't want to recruit any more slaves? Uh, oh, sorry, I'm only 18. Uh, slave well, slaves, like... are they good? They did alright yeah. last time. They got to shoot They're minus okay. and stuff. They're okay. I, I think I would... Uh, it's not like... Normally I would say scape, like regular slaves are better, but holding the line doesn't do anything. We have nothing yeah. to protect. We don't have any of the, of the big shooties. No. Dak attacker. Got, got, got the big old monster, didn't it? Oh man, the Skaven voice lines are so good. <laughs> Wish I was a Skaven voice actor. Oh my god, it'd be so much fun. Uh... Did you uh, the uh, the guy who voices Throt the Unclean actually got the part by just do it like recording voice lines on and uploading them to YouTube? Oh like, my god, my f my calling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like legitimately, he was just like he made a post of him saying some voice lines. Posted it to Reddit, got some upvotes, and then CA reached out to him when they were like, we need another voice actor for Throck. Oh, wow, awesome. I assume that he's actually like a professional voice actor. Nope. Just a guy. Nice. Yep. <laughs> uh, they must do like an effect to the game voices to make them sound a bit different, right? Yeah, not just people. I think so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe. Well, maybe not. Oh, Kislev. Kislev is going to war. <laughs> yeah. Might be a good time for you to strike. I mean, maybe. Do you know what happened? The dwarves didn't when move. <laughs> only when necessary. Good, glad we replenished them. I'll go when I'm ready. Hello? It is yes, hello, I'm still... No, I meant... I thought I'd made it to the circle, Moving but apparently not. Uh... Oh, you've become huge. We got an ambush on them, despite being in March. So <laughs> impressive. Uh, yeah. So what is this? Is this a quest battle? So no, this is um. The trees of it. Every tree I control is occasionally just attacked by units. That's just a thing you have to deal with, with as wood elves. Okay. It's because because it's it's trying to simulate an actually defensive campaign. Like I I genuinely don't want to carve out a huge empire. I just want to control the trees. <laughs> and in order for that to be interesting you need to have things that actually attack the trees. Okay. So every few turns, one of the trees you control will be assaulted by... Oh, we have the fucking ridge? Jesus. Um, oh, glorious ridge. It's going to be a good time. Uh, We've then we can got a choice the... of ridges. There's so many. We could be in the forest on the other side. Yeah, or... we could be up on this hill. We could be up here. I think in this forest sounds pretty this, good. Or this tiny one. Actually, no, maybe this is just great. We just have all the high ground in the world, and they're all on the same side. Yeah. Uh, you can have the fast units again. Huzzah! Wild riders. They call me Speedy Boy Mon Speed Speed. No one has called me that. What's my name? Yeah, Everyone calls me that. Uh, they got a mutant Rauga. That is by far the scariest unit. Just so shoot it, and it will die. Yes, but I do have to make sure that I shoot it. I'll Probably with the with that anti march. Um, I assume the Giselles are good against missiles because they have shields. Uh, or yes. be better than... Certainly in theory, yeah. Cool. You ready to go? Yeah, I'm going to hide in this wood. Oh, the eagle's not apparently. But... Oh, yes, he is. Mm. 
Oh no, the chest is already dead. Okay. <laughs> Why even bother, eh? <laughs> What is that mutant rat exploding on fire? What? Are you firing some sort of explodey fireballs at the mutant? Oh uh, yeah, area? yeah, yeah. So my um, my my anti-large units on the sister uh sunders them and sets them on fire. Hmm. Pretty cool. It's real good, yeah. Uh, all right, Giselle. Oh, it's just dead. It's just dead. <laughs> yeah. I'm, see, I knew you'd be fine. Yeah, I didn't expect them to melt quite Ooh, as hard. Oh, yeah, probably kill that with an eagle. Yeah, agreed. He, he only has two arms, what a loser. All the best game <laughs> have three arms. Suddenly, I wouldn't associate with the fucking two arms. <laughs> two armed peasant skater. <laughs> Goodbye forever, Giselle. I did not sort these out very sensibly. Got it, runners. Kill those, I guess. I'm gonna activate my armor piss and melee eagle system. Be careful with that eagle. Jesus. It's like one of the only units that might get injured. <laughs> <laughs> Aerial shows the way. Oh man, that's so lame. I don't say cool things like banana. I was also just trying to think of um, now that CA has put in the first like two lords that is one lord. Is there any like other lords that are like that? And I couldn't think of any. Like uh, the only pairs are like Godric and Felix who are already in the game. Yeah. Uh, the Skaven pair. Yeah, Thankful and Bone Who are basically, but Thankful rides Bone Crusher. Sometimes. The newer models do, so I imagine they'd copy that because it would be easier to animate. Uh, but then, um, Garthnik and Noblar have what are uh, one profile but two things. Oh yeah, he does fucking. Oh man, that model is great, but also way too uh, end times for things. <laughs> like, the fact they do. Well, they might put, do the end times. We I don't know. Don't think they will. The fact that they didn't put in um, whatever the storm fiends into this expansion, I think, heavily suggests that they're not going to. To do that. They could do a DLC like right at the end that is just the end times. That's true. They could add just add like some end time lords in and just go, this is this is what we've all been building to. Just chaos everywhere. <laughs> Both literally and figuratively. Did they also confirm we're getting one more DLC before? The no, game. they no. said maybe. They said maybe. Okay, so it's a, <laughs> like probably depends on like how much they get done and stuff. Then. It it's zero. Yeah, it's zero or one. I think is is the number we're at. Okay. Um, I expect them to keener. announce the next game, the new game, soonish. Oh shit! That army survives. I genuinely thought that army would cease to exist. Well, it's not done that. It's in fact survived. Oh yeah, well, I, we should have run them down. Uh, my bad. Well, now we know. Twin defenders of the glades. Yeah. Mm, how many points do I need? Five points there? I think we have done lethal to do more than anything else. Oh, I wanted to take Ice Rock Gord, but now I have to go fucking... Clean up your mess. Yeah. Sanctuary is ours. That's very annoying. Um... Well, now you know. Now everyone that's watching this knows. Yes. You get so injured. Get by this guy. Oh no. Um, 
It doesn't fall down. Well, just what are they going to put in Heroes Healing on their own? Is that going to be a feature they ever had? <laughs> no. Oh. Never. Heroes incapable of healing, I said, with other people. Yes, the Ratoga Growth Batch. So, I don't know if a Growth Batch gives you, like, several... It says, receive a batch of units with guaranteed Ratogas. I don't know what that is. If it's, like, a war, or... Let's find out. Oh, I, oh, I bought it by accident because I clicked the button. <laughs> so, are they, like... Oh, oh maybe they're in the Regiment Renault now. pool. Yeah, yeah. So, I've got some Wolf Rats and some Scaven Slaves for this. They said guaranteed... Oh, maybe I clicked it too early. Oh, well, we're learning. It's fine. <laughs> uh, ah, they got this, they've got a special thing called... Special little button that you can click on. Sure. So they're like a emergency reserve, aren't they? Cool. That's very strong. It is. Uh, I mean, they're all, it's all wolf rats but, and some slaves, Still. but they can get better. If I click the button at the right time rather than <clears throat> at the wrong time. <laughs> uh, so Crackerjack again didn't even think about moving. I am a rune lord, not some smith. So, because there's now a war with the entire universe. Nice. Which is nice. I wish I had the way to scout. Two turns to growth and help it. Oh, I can build a. I must feed. <laughs> okay, so I can build like a tier two military building in the place I'm in right now. Sure. What would I want though? Night runners or warp grinders? Warp fire throwers? They're bad, right? They're okay. They're just not anti infantry as might be useful against dwarves. They do magical damage. Oh, uh, mission failed. Uh, or I can get some night runners and assassin. Where are the like the? Engineers, the catapult building, we already established that. Yeah, it's a good build. Is there any like, is there upsides of building like the clam rat buildings and okay, recruiting clam rats? Uh, I, I basically never build the clam rat building. I don't think clam rats are particularly strong. Um, Still, moment are good. They're okay. I, I, again, I I don't prioritize storm vermin. I don't think, like, I think slaves hold, like, all of my damage comes from uh, either artillery or monsters. The, the damage the Storm Vermin deal is just not relevant. They still don't beat uh, enemy infantry, especially on the harder difficulty. Maybe they're fine on hard, but uh, certainly on very hard, they don't hold up to even lower tier infantry. Um, like they get fucking destroyed by greatswords or whatever. Uh, so I'd rather just use slaves uh, to hold the line because they hold the line just as well. Like they're just tar pitting. Mm. Um, well, in that case, I don't see any good military options for Skaven until we get to tier three. Uh, the assassin building's okay. Like. I guess recruit, no. recruiting assassins could be good. Like just... Yeah. It, well, it increases... It gives you assassins and Eshin sorcerers. Ah, um, a wizard would be helpful. I have and Eshin sorcerers... Even if you don't recruit Eshin sorcerers, it increases the capacity for plague priests, which is pretty good. Because they share oh, the they same... Oh, they share one. Cool. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of cool. Um, obviously, you still need the building to let you recruit plague priests. Mm. But uh, law of plagues is a pretty good law, for sure. It's one of the, I think one of the best laws. Um... Yeah, so I think, uh, yeah, the assassin building I think is fairly, fairly strong, but otherwise, yes, I think most Skaven, Skaven does not have good low tier units, and I think that's fine. Yeah, Skaven way, uh, man. They, they like they, they, they have tier zero units, which I think are, are one of the better tier zero units, honestly. Like I think slaves are better than peasants or like skelly spears or whatever. Skelly um, spears suck, so I think that's fair. Yeah, agreed. Um, and they also don't really do their job because holding the line for skeleton archers isn't a thing as much as you keep saying that it is. It is a thing! All praise the skeleton archers. Never forgive, never forget. I don't know what that's got to do with it. <laughs> I'm tempted to melt down these, um, these wolf rats. Yeah, I think that's fine. If you can. I don't know. Again, I don't really understand how growth juice and stuff works, but if, if as long as you can store it and use it. Well, yeah, so the yeah, growth fat is just like this bar that goes up. I guess it's a bit like food, but sure. significantly higher numbers. You just get some for existing, and then buildings give you some, and other bits give you some. And when you get to certain levels, which I thought this button was, I would check the levels, but it didn't do that. Um, 
quite high numbers. 500 is the lowest, and that's for Wolf Rats. Uh, you can recruit the special unit pool. And you also get some spare mutagen, and mutagen is what you use to upgrade units regularly. Yes. Um, how do I even check the augments on these things? How do I know what their instability is? Oh, it's here. Oh, it's a, oh, instability is generic. Okay. Man, uh, yeah, they're just rubbish. Like, obviously, you don't want the instabilities. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, this unit is rubbish because it's just got a bunch of oh, weird because... things. Yes, I agree. I'm gonna recycle you. You're gone. I'm not gonna recruit a free unit of Wolfrats with poison for value. I'm ten. And they come with a. Oh, they come pre. Um, mutated from the special magic thing. So these ones have warp lightning rod. Why would you not? <laughs> I'm tempted to upgrade the um, the mutant rat. I go with some more lightning rod. So that could go wrong. Sure. It might be fun. Well, he'd be good with it. Because <laughs> um, he's a single model. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's try it. If okay. it's bad, it's fine. Very, it's how science works. <laughs> you're doing science and you're still yeah, alive. Yeah, science. Until you become growth juice. Until you become growth juice. I assume these are linked to each other as well. Oh, so the middle one's probably the worst one because it's linked to both of the next tier. I imagine that's how it works. I don't know how tiers work yet. Um, <laughs> no. It worked! Science! You did it. I'm proud. Science everywhere. So, did we decide where I was going? Should I just start raiding? Start yeah, it's raiding. your choice. Uh, uh, are you gonna... We're gonna have to kill the... We have to kill these dwarves, right? I think that's probably true. They're not recruiting, at least. So, yeah, maybe if you sit and raid, they will come out and fight you. They're just outside of their movement range. Yeah, that that gives you... That puts you in their movement range, I think. Cool. Of course, retreat if it goes wrong, so. What do you want? Trade agreement with Alethanar. Do you? Does he want to trade you his edgy thoughts? Yeah, I think so. I'm happy to have my southern borders uh, covered. Do you think he Elephant listens to like... Uh, I wonder where he'll go. He might go fight Marathi now oh, that he can't... He normally him. fights Marathi, right? <laughs> ha, got ya! Uh, yeah, yeah, that was, that was the nuts.